Kapaa Town has two fire stations, three grocery stores, a Starbucks, and nine Mexican restaurants. In such a small town, how could so many Mexican restaurants compete with each other? I don't think it's a competition because everybody has their own style. In Mexico, it's a big, big, big country. Every state has a different type of way to make food. The nine restaurants in Capa serve food from a variety of regions in Mexico, from the coast of Guerrero in southern Mexico to the slopes of Oaxaca to Mexico City. Each has a different style and serves Mexican food in their own unique way. A specialty served at El Pastor is beef tongue. We're the only food truck and restaurant establishment that actually does um, beef tongue. We have a lot of people, all the Filipinos, all the Latinos come in eat it and some, we cook like two or three tongues a day, so. Another item unique to the food truck is cooking meat in the Al Pastor style kitchen. They do the Al Pastor on the rotisserie and it's so yummy, it's like bacon with a Mexican twist. Other restaurants feature homemade tortillas, local ingredients and Hawaiian inspired dishes. Many of these recipes have been passed down from generation to generation. Each dish has a taste of their family's unique history. For Tony of Paco's Tacos, serving agua frescas brings back memories of his youth in Mexico. When we were like little kids, my mom always make us, you know, like lunch and she always choose one flavor to make, like sometimes she make horchata, the rice, rice agua fresca, and uh, sometimes tamarind, sometimes jamaica, the hibiscus tea. And that's what we make here in, uh, in Paco's Tacos. While the spike in restaurants could be because of the delicious food, it could also be due to the rise in the Mexican population. According to a study by the Migration Policy Institute, Hawaii has seen a Mexican population increase of 165% since 1990. There is like a huge population of Latinos actually here. We've um, kind of, yeah, embraced the Latino community here. And they all come to eat and they're all of our regulars. Today, the Aloha spirit is reflected in the values of the Mexican restaurants. We're really grateful to be in Kauai, and we're really grateful that we allow, you know, to be making food for all Kauai. It's amazing how every person makes their own flavor, and especially, you know, when you make it in a good mood and you make it with love, it is even better. And it shows in how the customers are treated. We don't call them customers, we call them guests, because uh, we treat them like we, that's how we wanted us to treat us, you know, like a guest, like a family member. The addition of Mexican restaurants in our Kapaa family has created a truly unique mixed plate. We serve from our familia to the Ohana, and with mucho aloha, of course. This is John Marco Lumpe from Kapaa High School for Hikino.